In our society, it is almost impossible not to create waste. When we go shopping, everything we buy is packaged in plastic, cardboard boxes or glass. But all this packaging comes at a cost to the environment. Cardboard and paper are made from trees, plastic is manufactured from oil and glass is made out of sand. Which is why what we do when we are finished with them is so important. Many of us recycle our household waste, but how many of us know what happens once we've put it out for collection? Well, let's follow this bottle through the process to find out. Recycling domestic waste is one of the easiest and most important things you can do to help save the planet. Firstly, if we don't recycle waste, it just gets put in a big hole in the ground. But to realise how important recycling is, you need to know just how much we as a society use. It takes a forest the size of Wales to produce all the paper we get through in the UK in a year. And twice a day, every day, the UK produces enough rubbish to fill the Millennium Stadium. But all this will have to change. Materials like these are a valuable resource and we as a society need to make better use of them. As well as this, new Welsh Assembly targets call for an ambitious increase in recycling rates. By 2009-2010, the target is that at least 40% of waste is recycled. And by 2020, that figure goes up to 64%. By now, our bottle has made it to the Amgen recycling plant, where recycling material collected in RCT is processed. The lorry is unloaded into the materials recycling facility, where a small team of workers split the bags. As you can see, there is plenty to get through. Here at Amgen last year, 617 tonnes of cans were recycled. The equivalent of roughly 386 cars. The material is then put into the hopper, which moves it onto the conveyor belt. A glass bottle may not seem much, but it all adds up. In 2007, Amgen, on behalf of RCT, recycled 800 tonnes of glass, diverting it away from landfill. On the conveyor belt, the recyclers are separated further into metal, paper, plastic and glass. The glass bottles are then taken away to be recycled. Some will be turned into more bottles, but others end up in more unpredictable places. Here at Nationwide, the glass is turned back into sand. It is ground down until it is very fine. Much of it will be used in the construction industry, but some of it, the really fine stuff, is used on golf courses as sand traps, like this bunker here. Anyone for a game? <laughs>